So, as promised in this setup video for the um, Note 2, what we're going to run through is how to use the Android Market, um, or what is now called the Google Play Store. So, and if you unlock your handset, the Play Store is normally put onto the first screen. If you happen to have changed that around, press the menu button, scroll across until you find the little shopping bag. We're going to click on that, and it's going to bring up and ask you, do you have a Google account? So, I've got an existing one. If you've got a brand new one you want to use, then put the brand new one in. So, the next bit we're going to need to do here is to sign in. So, if you've got an account, then you quite literally sign in with your Google Mail, email address and password. If you haven't, click on new, follow the steps. So, you type in your details, it'll then ask you if you accept their terms and conditions. Next section, it's going to ask you to set up a debit or credit card to the account. The reason for this is for purchases very much like you'd have on the App Store. Um, only Google are kind enough not to force you to. So I'm going to click on Not Now. And it'll back up to your Google account and restore everything should you ever have any issues with the handset. So that is if you leave that box tick. So we click on Next. And it's going to load up the Google Play Store. So that's the main menu, the Google Play Store. You can scroll right down see all the adverts and stuff that Google are throwing at you. The biggest bits you're going to use on it on the left hand side you've got apps, music, books, movies and games. So what you can do, you can click on the little magnifying glass in the top corner and you will be able to search through and find an app that you're looking for in particular. So looking for mobile security for example, I've always found that Avast is the best one. If you start typing in the search and it actually finds the app based on what you've put you'll see the logo appear next to the search you can run through and actually just click search and it'll bring up hundreds if you click the one with the logo next to it it'll take you directly to that particular one if you want to install something you click on install and accept and download it's now downloading that's a four megabyte file so it's going to take a couple of minutes to download so I'm just going to go back from the main menu, you can just click on, just say for example, games. If you want to look for the games, you can do the same for apps, you can do the same for movies. At the top, it'll say what section we're under. So we're under Featured. We can scroll across and go into the top Paid. Scroll across again to the top Free. Scroll across to the top Grossing. Top New Paid Apps, and so on. Now from the main screen, if you press the menu button and then select my apps it shows you apps that you've installed yourself it will show you apps that you've got on all devices so if you get yourself a new Android device and you want to reinstall all your old apps you can just get straight back into it that way as I say if you want to search for anything your sort of games for example and we just keep scrolling across or use the magnifying glass if you know what it is you're searching for. If there's a particular type of app that you want, what I always find helpful is go to Google, search for what you want in the app to do, and you'll normally find a list of different names for apps. You then search for that app. So we're just going to use Avastas again as an example. And it shows you the reviews. So it gives you a description of the app as you scroll down the page. So we're on the, the same page where I clicked on to install it a minute ago. It gives me the option to rate and review it. Tells you what's new in the latest update, the full description, and people's reviews start here. And you can literally read through, click on see all, and you'll see hundreds and hundreds of them. And see how many stars people are giving it, and exactly what they're saying about it. So you can make your decision as to whether or not you want to install an app based on that. I hope that was helpful and I hope it makes the Google Play Store a little bit easier to use. Thanks for watching.